Welcome welcome back to another video and in today's video I will be showcasing you guys the brand new Moonstone character Caleb Hawkins aka the Vampire Dragon Hybrid in the Vampire Legacies 2. Now let's get into it. Caleb has 350 health, 350 energy, 200 thirst, and 100 flame or fire for his one Vampire Dragon Hybrid ability. He has 250 Moonstones which currently is 250 Robux. But in the future, I believe they are going to add quests for Moonstones and or you can use codes for Moonstones. Caleb has two uniforms. His default one, which as you see is a nice little jacket, his chain, black tee, black jeans. Or his epic school outfit, which is a sporty variation of the Savitar school uniform with his iconic chain. And as you see the Savitar little school emblem. And basically, he's blue. At the low price of 100 Moonstones, which you can only get right now by doing codes and or spending 100 Robux because it's a 1 to 1 Moonstone 2 Robux. This is Caleb's Vampire Face, which is toggleable. His Dragon Face is not toggleable, but you will see it in just a bit. So, Caleb has basic Vampire Combat, as you can see. Basic Vampire Combat, and he can, of course, block. Caleb has Basic Vampire Speed and Jumping. Basic Vampire stuff, no, like, you know, increased strength. And, yeah, you know, he can jump over a building, and he can go decently fast. Caleb has Super Punch. Caleb has Basic Compulsion, which only works on coaches, I believe. As you see, you know, the Basic Make Me Invisible, Follow Me. And will only work on, I think, witches and mortals. Maybe werewolves, I do not fully know. Next, Caleb has Eye Gouge, which as you see, puts the victim on their knees and gouges their eyes out. Now what it looks like is basically your screen gets really blurry. As you can see. And the victim will be basically semi-blind for a little bit. Caleb has Choke. Of course, I love this animation. Decent damage and leaves crack in the floor. Caleb has the basic ah! throat rip. As you see, activates vampire eyes and does a hundred damage while ragdolling the victim. Now we have the basic vampire neck snap, which will neck snap everyone in the game, saying this health to zero, other than Dark Josie because she's the only character in the game to have neck snap and heart rip protection. Caleb, of course, has the Drink Blood ability, which will allow him to replenish his thirst and deal decent, steady damage to his victim. Caleb can also, of course, Blood Heal, firstly healing his victim and basically allowing witches and Cypherners to transform into vampires or heretics, as you can see. Now Kai is a transforming heretic, and when Kai wakes up, he will blossom into a beautiful hybrid. As you can see, he's now a heretic. So his first custom is Spine Break, which is a Moonstone custom given to the stronger and upper class vampires. It does like 55 damage and of course, paralyzes the victim from the waist down for like 20-ish seconds. Now we have Caleb's final and only custom real move, which is his Dragon's Breath. As you see, it takes 35 flame Meaning that's why he has flame, and you can come up to your victim and basically ah! torch them with love. You also have those beautiful dragon custom eyes, which this is the only move they are revealed with. And the fire honestly just looks amazing with a low cooldown, and basically because of the flame, there's no real reason for flame. Like, he already has max by the time he's done with it. Just look how cool it is. I like how it comes out of his mouth and then gets bigger. And as you see, it's a constant damage stream because it affected Kai after the original cast. Pretty cool, and that is it for his custom fire breathing ability. So that is it for Caleb Hawkins. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for videos coming towards you. I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Love y'all. Goodbye.